sincere love. This is the fifth time that I've written you today, or maybe the sixth. After three, they tend to start to all blend together. But regardless of the number, the meaning still remains. The ink that I've spilled onto this sheet is stained with the guilt you carried from the first week of knowing you. Even those first few words that you uttered out of that entrancing mouth of yours, I took too far to heart. But the realization that they had steadily become rotten was far more than withstandable. No, convincing myself that what I took for real was just a twisted illusion and that your words could be held up with some sense of meaning was far easier to withstand. You see, I just wanted to act like I had a perfect life, like we were perfect, like nothing else in the world could be any more perfect. But I guess I'll never get that. Perfection, or how that word was engraved into my brain Every time you look at me with that relentless stare That haunting, creeping stare that I so loathe But I didn't loathe it enough not to let it ensnare me Though I knew of the branch's thorns I let it wrap itself around me Drawing blood with every inch that it covered With every limb that it captured and claimed its own I let it creep and crawl its way around me Till I had nothing left to call my own which made the cutting of the branches that much harder Pieces of me trapped between the thorns Tearing apart and leaving the whole being that I like to call a body Cause that's all that was left It's like the lights were on, the water was running But I couldn't have been any further gone Scarred, scraped, and just remnants of what I once was Left to rot and wither as the branches claim what they thought rightfully theirs Moving on to the next With no less sympathy than the last Once I tried to hate, tried to resent, tried to forget. Wanted me, my heart and my 
my sleeve, I had thought wrong. Ooh.